The Boeing 747 is one of the most successful aircraft that has ever been manufactured. It revolutionized air travel as we know it today, and due to its success, Boeing has released many variants. One particular variant that not many people are aware of is the Boeing 747 aircraft carrier, or more commonly known as the 747 AAC. Now, in the early 1970s, Boeing was studying investigating the use of a 747 as a flying aircraft carrier. The study was performed under the contract from the US Air Force Flight Dynamics Laboratory in Ohio. The Boeing concept was highly ambitious, envisioning a 747-200 as an aircraft carrier with a complement of 10 microfighters. The 747 would not only be able to launch and retrieve microfighters, but also refuel them in flight or on retrieval, load them up with fuel and weapons for a new sortie. The 747 would carry enough material to support three sorties per microfighter. The study also considered the use of the Lockheed C-5A cargo lifter as the aircraft carrier, but surprisingly, the Boeing engineers judged the 747 as a better choice. At the time, the 747 was easily the largest civilian aircraft in the world, serving as a long-range passenger airliner and a cargo transport for a number of freight companies. It wasn't unreasonable to suggest that such an aircraft could be converted for the use of an airborne carrier, fielding a small group of aircraft inside its interior. Now, the Air Force's Flight Dynamics Laboratory was put on the case to determine the feasibility of such an experiment. The AAC project called for the Boeing 747-200 to be hollowed out and refitted with two level internal hangars that would hold the microfighters, which are small short-range fighter aircraft that could fight air-to-air -air and air-to-ground sorties after being dropped out of the underside of the plane. Should the fighters need an extension on their range, well, the AAC mothership could refuel the planes as needed from the rotating boom on its rear. Upon concluding their sorties, the microfighters would simply fly underneath the AAC and they would be picked up by a mechanism bringing them back into the hangar. The AAC would also contain storage for extra fuel, spares and parts, as well as a magazine for missiles and bombs for the microfighters. In addition to sleeping quarters for the crew and pilots, and a small crew lounge for breaks in between missions was also put into the hypothetical flying carrier. All in all, the concept seemed to be absolutely doable and certainly something the Air Force seemed interested in pursuing, given the report that the conventional Navy aircraft carrier would become obsolete by the year 2000. However, the project was stalled when the research into the design and development of the AAC's necessary microfighters went nowhere. An airborne warning and control version of the AAC was also proposed, with a pair of reconnaissance micro-aircraft for surveillance missions, this was also shut down. Eventually, the Air Force cancelled the concept altogether, claiming that it was impossible. While the US military hasn't done much, if anything at all, to investigate flying aircraft carriers in four and a half decades since, this seems to be an idea that just won't go <clears throat> This seems to be an idea that just won't go away. Maybe, just maybe, we might see these bizarre vehicles in the not so distant future as technology advances and also mission types evolve. So captains, that was an overview of the 747 AAC. Do let us know what you think in the comments below regarding this certain type of the 747 and do you think we'll see this particular type of plane flying in the future? Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll catch you very soon.